Welcome, welcome. I think we're live now. Uh, this is the first time that I finally have my camera set up. I've been telling you guys, I've been wanting to get my camera set up. So we got that going today. So that's super cool. I take this off briefly. Uh, I'm going to be editing this photo. I believe this was submitted by Tom, if I'm not mistaken. Let me see if I can find that real quick. Yes, Mr. Tom submitted this one. So super excited, very similar to my style. So super excited to, to edit this photo. I'm just going to wait for some more people to come in and uh, then we'll get started. Let me just make sure that my vMix social is working so that people can come in and I can start popping up the comments. The question that I'm going to get a lot right away, I already know, is where do I submit these images? It's going to be Infante Critiques. You want to submit them there. There we go. Now we got some people coming in. We got Travis is here. What's going on, Travis? What's up, man? Adrian from Argentina is here. What's up, man? What's going on, Ed? How's it going, man? Vicente, what's up? There you go. This girl who has never had a photo shoot before. Awesome, man. Well, it seems like you did a great job with directing her. I think that when you haven't photographed or the person has never modeled before, I think one of the most difficult things is instructing them on the pose. So you did a great job with the picture, man. How am I doing? I'm doing good. We just had a hurricane here like two days ago. So now that that's kind of gone, it's uh, I've been able to finally come back live. I've been kind of busy with stuff. What's going on, guys? What's up? What's up? We'll start in about 20 seconds. What's going on, people? So let's take off this comments real quick. Uh, I'm not going to leave the picture in picture the whole time because then it's going to kind of get in the way here. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I guess I appreciate you guys joining in on here. Um, I think we're, we're about ready to get started. So let me kind of cut back into the Photoshop. There we go. And let's rock and roll here. So I'm going to be using Camera Raw. I believe, no, this is Sony. I could have imported it into Capture One. Um, but just to speed it up, we'll just do it here. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to try out is I'm going to see if there's any if I can do the color variability, if that's something that I want to do for this specific image. And to do that, all you got to do is just bring up your saturation and lower your temperature to kind of separate the colors. So right about here looks pretty good. And let me bring the saturation to a reasonable number. So let's maybe go like 40. And you can already see here what it's doing is the sky has this kind of warm tones because of the white balance. And I've been able to isolate and separate those, those colors because of the color variability technique that I just used there. One that I've learned from Sue Hale and Danny Batista and Stills in Color, those guys um, go over that technique whenever they go live. So those are people that I recommend following, Sue Hale Photos, Stills in Color, and Danny Batista. Um, so yeah, so I like those colors that I got so far. Uh, I'm going to look at the exposure. So I'm going to bring that up a little bit. Definitely going to bring up the shadows. Um, I want to bring back as much detail as I can back here. I don't want it to be pure black. So I'm going to bring up the shadows. So I think I'm going to bring it up almost to 90. I don't like that it's bringing up the shadows here. So I'm probably going to use a radial uh, gradient in a little bit, but I'm just gonna hit this eyeball to see the before and after so far. Definitely digging it. It is bringing a lot of the hair detail back as well. So super cool. I love the rim light that he was able to get here. So it's almost like a two light setup. We've got the sun and then nose is going out. If I zoom into the eyes, you can see that he had his Octobox camera, right? So super cool. What's going on, Alex? Thanks for joining in, man. Let me get my vMix thing set up here. There we go. Cool. Let me get that off now. Good. Hi from Florida. What's up, Joshua? Thanks for joining in, man. Oh, I agree, man. It, it is not easy shooting with newbies, but I think that when you shoot with people that are new, 
I think that that's where you kind of prove to yourself that how good of a photographer are you? Because you can't just work with models all the time. Like I did a client shoot about two weeks ago. The mom told me she didn't want to take photos. She didn't want, um, she was very shy. And so going into the shoot, I told her, he's like, look, I, I'm, I'm sure I can do a great job in, you know, making sure that she has a fun shoot. So, you know, I brought a speaker for music, but what I did also was I didn't shoot uh, off camera flash because knowing that the girl, my client didn't want to get her photos taken. Plus she was going to be nervous. I didn't want to be fiddling around with my light. So I shot 95% of the shoot natural light because I wanted to make it quick and easy. And I kept joking around with my client. She was a 16, it was her sweet 16 uh, photo shoot. And I kept joking around with her. I was like, we're going to make this short and sweet because I know you want to you know, be done with this. And so she was laughing the whole time. And you know, I was making fun of myself. Uh, but the point is, is like, you have to kind of cater to, you know, whether it's a new model or a client. So shooting natural light, um, I got a lot of great shots and the client actually bought more photographs than what was in the package. So super, super cool. Um, but yeah, I love working with, with new, um, new people because you're really going to test how good of a poser you are and directing. All right. So I'm going to bring up the blacks clarity and texture. I'm not really a big fan of those, at least to start off. Now I'm going to go into the curves. I'm going to come in here and I'm going to bring up this. You can see that a lot of the highlight details kind of lost here. So I'm going to try to bring this in just a little bit right about there. It looks fine. And I'm going to lift up the shadows and hit the eye so you guys can see the before and after. And it's not working. That's cool. Let me make sure that you guys are seeing this. Perfect. There we go. I have a lot of things going on today, which is super cool. All right. So now we got that. For the sharpening, I'm going to bring up my details all the way up. Radius, we're going to bring down. And then I'm going to go sharpening about 60. So I got a question here. Am I using... OBS, I'm using vMix for this. Thank you so much, Dave. Thank you for joining in, man. Yes, somebody sent me this image, Hector. What's going on, man? What's up? What's up? Look at man, I got my face here now. Woohoo! So now you guys can see me. I've been I missed my cord. I didn't have my cord, so I couldn't show myself. Now I got this set up. And I got like all the shortcuts. So now I got my stream deck. I just push these buttons. And so it's pretty easy. I could take this off. I could take that off. So it's super cool. All right. So let's continue this edit. Yes, this is a good photo. I need to get into Photoshop though, because um, I have my dual monitor set up. And for some reason, every time I open up Photoshop, it covers my vMix. So I can't tell what's uh, being shown. So I'm going to kind of speed through this now because I want to be able to see all right, so now I'm going to go into my luminance. We know we got a lot of blues here, so I'm going to kind of play around with this. I'm going to go a little bit darker. And here I'm going to go a little darker as well. Let's see the yellows. Yeah, I want to enhance those highlights, so I'm going to go a little bit to the right. And saturation, all that other stuff, I'm going to leave alone. Highlights, shadows, I'll wait for that later, not right now. And I'll add a little bit of green. Let me just make sure that the vMix is showing what I want. And it is wonderful. Okay. And da -da 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 -da. nice. I like it. Gracias, Hector Gonzalez. All right. And then let's look at the saturation blue primary. I typically like to push it a little bit. I don't want to get too cute. Right now, I'm going to go negative here. I'm going to push this a little bit. And we're going to go right there. And I want to say, let's, let's take a look at the before and after. So this is what I have. This is the before, and then this is the after. What do you guys think of it so far? What do you guys think so far what, what I have? Does it look good or am I embarrassing myself in front of everybody? 
I'm digging it so far. Um, thank you, Dave. Appreciate that, man. So what I am going to do is I am going to use the, the radio filter real quick. I'm going to kind of push this up just a little bit because I do want to darken this up or I, you know, I don't think it's bothering me as much anymore. I think this is ready for Photoshop. I think we're at a good starting point here. So I think I'm going to start taking this into to Photoshop. Yeah, we're ready. I'm going to open. I'm going to need to move my Photoshop window in a little bit. Sorry, guys. I know you guys can't see anything right now. I'm going to move it across. Here we go. There we go. It is. Yay. Now we got that going. And let me move my other panel. Yay. There we go. Woohoo. It's nice. What is vMix? So vMix is the interface that I'm using. Let me show. Let me see if I can pop it on the screen real quick. So I'm going to drag it over. So vMix. This is vMix. This is the program that I'm using to go live and I have everything set up for this live on YouTube. So that's what I'm using. So it's, I'm using it to stream. There's a bunch of other ones you can use, but um, this is the one that I kind of went with and it's pretty easy to use. I like it. Hi from Arizona, what's going on? Awesome work. Thank you, but I didn't take this picture. I'm just editing it. What do I prefer with a camera I'll edit? Definitely love using Capture One for sure. Do I have a folder of my raw footages because I want to edit your raw pictures? I don't. Um, what I do have though is I do have um, usually on my YouTube channel, most of the videos, if, especially if it's an editing video, I always provide a raw file. So that's something that you can go and check out. I've been debating that though, making a folder because I know a lot of people just want to have access to my raw files. So that's something that I might end up doing pretty soon. So thank you for that. You're welcome. All right. So let's jump into Photoshop people. So I'm going to go into my actions. I'm going to run my cleanup layer. And I'm not sure if there's a lot that I'm going to need to clean up. I know for sure this little guy right here, I don't want this, so I'm gonna remove that. Let me see if I can just bring it down. Will that do a good job? Oh my gosh, that did terrible. Let me try my good old faithful content aware. Come on, content aware. Make me proud. There you go. I think this one we're gonna need to remove as well. Yeah, we're going to have to remove this because it's kind of looks weird coming up her knee. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. We're going to have to get that one out, unfortunately. And then this little pole over here too. So let's get this one. This one's going to be easier. Let's go for the easy stuff first. Shift F5, content aware. Here we go. All right, I'm scared of this one over here. Well, not really scared, but it's because it kind of matches up with the knee here. And I already know how I'm going to do it. I'm probably going to have to use the make a, make a new layer. And then I'm probably going to have to um, just use the clone stamp and then layer mask it away. So let's, let's give it a try. So I'm going to hold H. That's the shortcut I changed. It's not going to be perfect. But let's try it like this. Oh my gosh. Let's try edit content aware fill so that it doesn't actually grab from the, the knee there. So when you go the menu route, you have this option where it shows you in green on where it's gonna grab from. So right now that's why the the knee had popped up. So Sometimes the shortcut isn't the best way to go. Sometimes you need to go the menu route. And it's cool because it gives you a little preview. And so far, it's looking good. This is the part that I was telling you I'm going to have to use the clone stamp. So I already knew it was going to do that. So I'm actually happy with that. So now I'm going to grab the clone stamp. I'm going to set it to all layers because I want it to sample all layers. 
I'm going to purposely go over the knee just like that. I'm going to zoom in now. I'm going to add a layer mask. The reason why I'm adding a layer mask is that's going to give me the flexibility to erase and bring it back if I need to. So now I have the black brush and I'm on the layer mask and I am going to erase this stuff right over here. Just like that. Nice. Okay, cool beans. That's taken care of. And I want to blend it a little bit better, so I'm just going to get the patch tool. That should be better. Cool beans. Everything else we'll leave for now. I like how this sun's coming through, so I think I'm going to add like a sun flare at some point coming in from this direction, so we'll see. Thank you, Dave. Am I dependent on external plugins? <laughs> Not necessarily, but some of them are useful. Thank you so much, man. I'm going to work on some new videos soon. You learned a lot from my tutorials. Upload on Instagram. I'll tag you. Cool, man. Yeah, man. Tag me for sure. Send me a DM. I love to see your guys' work, man. Thank you. All right, so now it's ready for frequency separation. I do have some new actions, by the way, so I might be able to use them. I'm gonna give an update out pretty soon. I know I've been saying that for a while, but uh, I wanna make sure that they work perfect. So those of you that have already purchased them, I'll be sending a free update for you guys pretty soon. Hopefully this week, because once I go back to work, I go back to work next week, so uh, probably not gonna have as much time so I'm just going to get my radius to where I think looks good. So I'm going to kind of go 15. I'm going to make sure that the hair, because I know I'm going to have to clean up the hair in a little bit. So that looks fine. OK. I'm going to go like 18 just to be on the safe side. And we're going to hit OK. Now I've separated the texture and color. And I'm going to go ahead and zoom in here. Let's go and let's go to the texture layer. And let's work with the texture first. I think with these individual hairs, I'm probably not going to get all of them right now because it's going to take me a while. So I'll probably just do a little bit of it. Um, and then we'll move on to the skin retouching. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the blemishes here. I'm going to make sure this is set to current layer because I just want to manipulate the texture only. There we go. We're going to make sure that the hardness is around like 30 so that we still preserve that skin texture. Boom, boom, boom. What else we got? Shabam, shabam, boom. By the way, I'm listening to music, so I would have loved to play music, but when I'm editing, I have to listen to my jams. If not, I'm not motivated. So today, Listening to doves. It's one of those kind of days. Doves. I was into my Radiohead, but then I was like, okay, not Radiohead today. Then I was like Arctic Monkeys, but I was like, eh, I listened to them this morning. I got a super chat. I haven't had a super chat in a while. I don't even know. I don't even know where this money goes. I don't even know how to like deposit it or anything. I think this is like the second or third super chat that I've ever had. I don't know where, how to get this money or what, but gracias, Mr. Hector. Okay, so we got all those marks. There's nothing else really on the arm. It looks fine. The foot is a little big. So what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to use liquify for the foot to kind of just make it a little uh, smaller because it was closest to the camera. I'm going to assume that the photographer used the 35 millimeter for this shot or he was shooting around the 35 focal length. That's just going to be my guess. 
So I'm gonna work with the nose a little bit, trying to get some of the hair off of that area. Like I said, I'm not gonna get all the hair out because it's gonna take me some time and I'll probably just do that at some point after the live. But I'll just kind of show you what the process would look like. Just sampling other texture to get rid of it. Especially like this part, that's a lot there that it's gonna take me some time, so. phone who is texting me ah my friend LJ he's debating whether to go Canon or go Sony and I'm telling him he needs to go Sony it that a7 III is already out it's cheap it's affordable I keep trying to convince him that there's no point of waiting on the a7 or EOS arm and all that stuff Hey, what's going on, Ben? You need to, um, we need to go live pretty soon, man. Um, I was just talking with Naya this morning. I don't know if you knew this, but me and uh, Marco got hit by a hurricane like two days ago, so I haven't really been able to work on content. But uh, let's see if we can set up something maybe this week, next week. Um, I go back to work next week, but, you know, we'll kind of see, man. It'll be kind of cool. Um, let's take this off. There we go. Boom. Those of you that want to submit images, you can submit them here. If you're curious as you're chilling and watching here. Let me see. We got a question here. They're asking, can you work on the hair in her mouth? Yeah, let's see. Did I already get that off? I'm not sure. The only one that's still here is the one that's on her, the teeth, which I'll get out later. Right now, let's get this other one off here on the lip still. And there's still one like right here. I just gotta make sure that I'm sampling from the right texture. I'm just going slow. There we go. Let me see if it'll work with the teeth. Sometimes it doesn't work. Yeah, it'll work. And honestly, most people are probably not gonna see this amount of detail um, on Instagram, so. But I'll just clean it up just a little bit, right about there, cool. What's going on, Seth? I know, man, it's been a while since I've gone live. Like I said, there was a there was a hurricane that we got hit with, and then, you know, things just haven't lined up. So I was like, today's the day. And then I finally got my cord. So now you guys can see me. Woohoo. You know? So. All right. Now we're going to go into the frequency separation. I'm going to go into the, I don't need this one, so I'm going to take this one off. I have my contrast one. And let's take a look at, I'm going to see if I can maybe fix, you can see here the, the bra. I don't know if I can do that with frequency separation. I know you can, but I don't know if I'll do it here, but we'll see. I'm going to work with the forehead first. I'm going to go into my color layer, shift B to go to the mixer brush, and then bam, my settings are up there. <clears throat> And let me oh, let me take off that comment. Sometimes I forget to take off the comments and they stay there. And then people start roasting me in the comments. There we go. Um, and I'm just going to do a little bit here, 
It's kind of faded off just a little bit. I'm going to do that with dodge and burn in a moment. So I don't need to get too cute. I don't think that there's a lot to do around here. I just need to smooth out just a little bit. Let me zoom out. That looks fine. Good. All right, what else we got? Still no music. Hey, I'm listening to music, actually. So um, you'll notice that I'm wearing headphones here. So I have to listen to my music, Seth. If I play music, dude, I'm going to be all bored listening to the music that uh, that's provided that's not copyright free, man. Thank you, Alex. <clears throat> Why do I use dodge and burn separately when you have the tool for it in the panel? Um, you have more flexibility, man. Uh, with the brush tool. The mixer brush, a great discovery. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, I learned this from other photographers, um, so it's not something that I made up, but the mixer brush is really cool. If, if those of you that are watching that are wondering, like, what is the mixer brush, or you want to know more info, I do have tutorials that cover all the stuff that I'm doing here that go more in depth. I have one on frequency separation that I explain the mixer brush a little bit more, so just FYI. But basically what's happening when I'm using the mixer brush is that I'm working on the color layer, which the color layer looks like this. So all I'm doing is I'm just pushing and kind of evening out colors as I'm, as I'm using this tool. So that's all I'm doing. So here what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the lasso tool. And I am going to select this whole area. And I'm going to make sure that the feather is like 15. I'm going to go blur. And I'm going to blur that color because I'm on the color layer. I'm just going to blur it so it kind of evens out. So I'm going to go Gaussian blur here. And if you notice, this is the before and then the after. Let me see how it just kind of evened that out. So before and then the after there. So I'm going to hit OK. And that'll work. Cool beans. I'm going to see if... I'm going to see if I can work on the... Uh, the bra is on the... I think it's on the texture layer. Let me see if I can maybe adjust some of it with the mixer brush. If not, it's okay. It's something that I'll do It's another point. Let me see how it works with the texture layer. Yeah, it's going to take me some time to do that. So I'll wait for that. I'll do that separately. So that doesn't take too long here. And I could have did it with frequency separation. I probably could have chosen a better number for this area, but I didn't think about it when I first started. But we'll do that later. If we have time, I'll go back to it at the end. So what I want to do is I want to go into the dodge and burn. I want to focus more on the, the face now. This is where I'm going to spend a little bit more time smoothing out some of these imperfections on here. So I'm going to go to my contrast, and we're going to zoom in here. Grab my brush. There we go. Yeah, Joel Grimes has, I think he has a tutorial on his YouTube channel where he does a frequency separation in the blur. So usually the forehead is the area that takes a little bit more time to do dodge and burn. 
lately I've been leaving in a little bit more imperfections. I don't want the skin to be like super perfect. I don't need to go pixel by pixel. At least that's what I'm choosing to do lately. I'm trying to spend less time doing dodge and burn so that I can get more photos done. Those of you that are maybe new to dodge and burn, all I'm doing is just some lightening and darkening specific areas. Let me zoom in a little bit more just in case you guys can't see what I'm doing. I know sometimes I don't like to zoom in too much because then it's, I tend to screw it up. Yes, this is um, uh, Tom's photo here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he did an awesome job with this. Super cool photo. I, I kind of, I'm so eager to get into the color grading part. But I want to just even out some of these little tones. And he said earlier that this was somebody that's never been photographed before. So it was a little bit more difficult to to set up the pose and stuff, but I think he did a great job. Hey, you're welcome, man. Thank you for submitting the image, man. I'm gonna try to keep up with these lives. Try to do them at least once a week, maybe once every two weeks. Uh, I'm gonna be going back to work pretty soon, so I don't know how often I'll do them, but I think I can do once every two weeks for sure. Okay, so let's take a look at what I have so far. So let's just look at the face area real quick. I'm gonna group this, I'm gonna pull shift, control G, and I like to name this skin retouching. So I can kind of take a look at the overall and what we have so far. So this is what I have, it's looking nice. There's still some areas that I wanna clean up over here. So what I need to do is I'm gonna come back to my local dodge and burn, go into my assist, and I need to lift up my shadows there's some shadow areas that are a little too dark. Go right about there. Seth, I know, dude. Okay, so dude, I was trying to program it so that it'll pop up for 10 seconds and then disappear on its own. But I, I haven't been able to figure it out. I need to, I'm going to go back in there. I'm going to play around with it some more. But I know that there's, for a fact, that there's a way where I can add this overlay. It'll stay there for 10 seconds and then it'll come off on its own. But I couldn't figure it out. But I'm going to do some more research, man, for sure. Because I'm editing and there's like, you should see my setup, dude. I have like an iPad over here for my comments. I have the stream deck here. I have my laptop here, which has vMix. Then I have Photoshop up here. Then I have my microphone. There's like eight things going all at once. So I forget um, to take things off sometimes. But you guys can leave a comment and be like, yo, Eli, take that off, man. So. All right. Let me. Dodge some of these areas over here.
And keep in mind, guys, I'm going to do like a quick dodge and burn. I'm not going to spend, you know, 30 minutes to an hour going live just showing the dodge and burn. I know I'm, and from your perspective, that's just going to be boring. And especially like if you already know how to dodge and burn, nobody wants to see that. You know, so I'm going to just need to do like a quick version of dodge and burn. At least try my best. So this is where I've dodged. So those of you that are curious, like where am I brightening up the areas? This is where I'm, I've done so far. I haven't burned anything just yet, um, but we'll get into that in a moment. So I'm still gonna raise up my shadows. So this is where I'm gonna now burn. There's some areas here that I feel like need to be a little bit darker. Awesome, Nelson. Truly appreciate it, man. We're about to get into the color grading right now, man. And I'm super pumped for this image because this image is um, has a lot of potential when it comes to the color grading. So that was one of the reasons why I decided to, to edit this picture. So stay tuned because we're going to get into that maybe in about 10 minutes or so. I'm going to have to do my global in a little bit. And then we'll kind of go from there, man. Cool. So let me take my helper layers off. Let me zoom out. Let's look at my entire skin retouching. I think that looks pretty good so far. I think maybe I'm going to add some darkness back up here. I lost a little bit of the shape, so I'm going to go in here and I'm going to darken it up just a little bit up here. So I'm going to add some dot or some burn. I'm sorry. And I definitely going to dodge some of these spots. These spots are a little too dark for my taste. So I'm not going to put any assist layers on because they're a little bit more obvious. And there's color in this specific area. So I'm going to dodge those just a little bit. And I want to say, to be honest, that I think that's going to be good for the skin retouching, OK? Um, we're still going to do the global. We're still going to do some of the lips in a little bit. But what do you guys think so far? Let me zoom in a little bit more before and after. We don't want to, we don't think we don't have to get too cute here. I think it's already looking good. So what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Let me take a little break here. So let me kind of cut to my camera here, ah, kind of reposition myself here. Here's my little uh, pen here. Should have got water. <laughs> I uh, getting dehydrated here, so I don't have any water. My water's wide over there. I need to go run and get some in a little bit. Boca Master, what's up from UK? What what time is it in the UK right now? Am I going to do a breakdown video of my recent post? Um, I haven't uh, thought about that just yet, um, Seth. I, I didn't record any video. That's the only thing that sucks. Um, I was planning to do video, but then I kind of just at some point, you just kind of get into the shooting, and I just never went back to record video. So uh, I don't know. Maybe. What I want to do is I want to start making more like shorter condensed videos, maybe like three to five minutes, um, and see how they do. All right, so let's continue here. Let's get into the global stuff now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go, I'm gonna add my global check layer. I'm gonna add it over here. There it is. And then I'm gonna add my dodge and then my burn. So my global check, this will kind of tell me more or less where the highlights are, so I'm going to need to brighten up this area, this area, the chin. This side of the face gets most of the light. The light hit here, the nose, and then this part. So I'm going to go into my dodge and just do it about 
and I'm going to make sure that this area gets some light. This area gets a little bit of light. This area here, brushing there. Brushing a little bit over the lip. The lips are going to get some light. So this is kind of general guide on where the light hit. Nice. Okay, cool. Let me take the global check off. And I've brightened up those areas just a little bit. Okay. Not a big excessive, excessive amount, but just a little bit. Okay. Now I'm going to go in and just use my eyes now to see where exactly I want to brighten up those areas. So for sure on the lips here. This part of the nose. Okay, and then I'm gonna hold, I'm gonna go into Lumenzia now. And what I'm gonna do is I am going to take a look at the areas of brightness that I wanna bring up, like in the hair. So I'm gonna to check my L2s, my lights too. How is that looking? There's nothing there. I'm gonna go lights one. And I wanna make a selection of, yep, I wanna get that for sure. I'm gonna make a selection of that. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then I'm going to change my flow to eight. And so I have a selection of the hair based on the brightness levels. So I am just going to come in here and brighten these up only in the bright areas. So it's not going to brush into the darker areas. There we go. And it's just going to be a subtle difference. So you'll see that now the hair is glowing there. I don't know if it's easy to see on your end, but this is the before and then the after, just adding an extra little pop of light there, which is cool. Now I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to do the opposite. I'm going to go into my darks now, and I'm going to make a selection of my darks. And darks three looks pretty good. I'm going to select that, and now I'm going to burn that. So I'm going to burn the areas to add some three-dimensionality to my photo here that I'm editing. Perfect. So let me see what this looks like. So that's where I was burning. And this is the before and then the after. Okay, I'm also going to make a selection. Let's go L1s. I want to select these areas over here. I'm going to see if I can darken this. I'm going to select that and just darken it up just a little bit. So I made a selection of the lights there. And if you were here at the beginning, I said that I was going to add like maybe a, like a gradient, but I think I'm just going to do this instead. I think this looks better. There we go. We darkened that up a little bit. So let's take a look at the overall so far. So it's before and after. I'm liking where it's going so far. It's pretty cool. Uh, I'm going to add my eyes action. And for my eyes, I'm going to brighten up. She has these awesome, colorful eyes. I'm going to make sure that these eyes pop just a little bit more. There we go. Okay, good. I'm going to see. Yeah, everything looks just fine. Cool, cool, cool. I'm liking it.
So yeah, let's take a like a nice close up here. So this is before and then after. Mm -hmm. I want to say we're ready for the color grading. I can always come back to to this, but let me try the L pop real quick. You know what? I don't want to do that just yet. But what I do want to do is I'm going to add a levels real quick. We're going to go into Lumenzia. I'm going to do L2. And I want to see where it's going to select. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted to do there. And I'm going to go to properties and I'm going to brighten up right there. That's perfect. Really enhance those highlights. Nice, 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 nice. Cool beans. I don't know if you guys saw that, but I added levels and I'm getting the highlights and I'm bringing it a little bit brighter. So just enhancing the, the highlight areas just so they pop a little bit more. Okay. So now that I have that, I think I'm ready for the color grading. Let's move on to the color grading. So I usually like to start off with selective color and then uh, see what we got here. The skin already looks pretty damn good. So I, I'll be honest, I'm probably not going to do much. I'm just going to move these just a little bit. This is just for the skin. There's not a lot of yellow and red in the image, so I don't think I'm going to have to worry so much about masking everything out because everything is kind of bluish so yeah there's really not much of a difference here that's just going to darken up her skin let's darken it up just a little bit let's go maybe like one and let's see on the reds what if i bring the blacks up yeah i like that adds that nice richness to it so let's go about two so before and then do after yeah, it's just a small difference, but we're going to leave it like that. Okay. And then what I want to do next is when I add a separate one, so this is my skin tone. So I'm just going to rename it skin tone. This one's going to be my background. Since we have a lot of blues, we're going to kind of mess with the blues here. And let's see what we can do here. So I'm going to select the blues. I'm going to move the blacks first. And it's actually not doing much. Maybe it's in the cyans. Yeah, it's in the cyans. Neutrals. So I like that so far. So take a look at the overall before, after. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. So I think I'm done with that. Let's go into color balance shadows. Let's try this now. And now I'm in the shadows. So what I've done with this action, I just made this as a new one that I'm going to send uh, for the people that have already bought it. What it does is that it makes a selection of the subject and it adds a mask. So whenever I add color grade, it's not going to do it to her. So it's super cool. So super fast, easy, convenient way. So I'm going to add some more blues into my shadows. A 
a little bit of magenta and a little bit of red. Let's go into the midtones. We're just going to add a little bit of blue and just a little bit of red. I'm going to add another color balance. This time I'm going to do the opposite. I'm going to copy this mask up. I'm going to invert it, pressing control I. So now I just have a selection of her. And what I want to do is I want to go into my highlights and I want to make sure we have beautiful yellow highlights and beautiful reds in my brightness areas of her skin. I even like to add a little bit of green as well. So if I go before, after, that's looking good. Adds that nice little glow to her. When am I going to announce the winners? I'm going to announce the winners after this. Um, I'm going to go in and I'm going to look at my YouTube comments, my IGTV comments, and then we'll decide a winner for those little Sony skins. I hope people didn't get confused. Um, I don't know if they were thinking I was going to give away a camera. I was just giving away the decals to put over the camera. So that'll be sent out um, hopefully by today. So this is what I have so far. Let me kind of look here. This is the before and then the after. I'm digging it so far. And then let's take a look at the gradient map tone. How is this looking? I like this. The opacity is a little too strong for me, so I'm going to bring it down to like maybe about 20. Let's go maybe about 18. And I am going to remove it from my shadows, though. So I'm going to double click. I'm going to go into Blend F. I don't want it to be into my shadows too much. Hold Alt, drag that out, hit OK. You know what? There we go. Curves, contrast. Yeah, let's add this contrast one now. <laughs> You're the winner. We'll find out, man. We'll find out. Like I said, I'm going to do the, I'm going to do it right after this, so. Nice. I'm just adding a little bit of contrast to the front, darken up some of these areas so that she pops a little bit more. So digging it so far. Good vibes. Good vibes. Thank you, David. What's going on, David? Roman is in the house. What's up, my man? Thank you for always reaching out to me on Instagram, dude. Super cool. Always chatting with you. Hey, thank you so much, man. Um, the details look amazing. May I know what lens? Oh, man, I don't know what lens. I didn't take this shot. This is from another photographer. I don't know if he's still in here. Um, and he'll let you know. I'm going to assume and guess that it's the um, a 35 millimeter or 24 to 70. Let me look at the properties real quick. So I'm opening it up real quick. Details and oh no, it doesn't say. I'll have to open it up back up in raw. Okay, well, hopefully he joins in and he lets us know if he's still here. All right, so I'm gonna try playing with curves here and just kind of play around with these. I don't know if I'm gonna keep it, I might not, but I'm gonna go into the reds. Yep, I knew it. He was using the 35 mil, I told you. I told you. 
I use the Sig or I use the Sigma 35 a lot, so I can already tell what the 35 millimeter focal length looks like. Oh yeah, I like what this um, this curves color grade did. It's looking cool. I like it a lot. So I'm gonna put this curves color. I'm gonna bring in this. Actually, I'm gonna bring this down a little bit and then to the left. Let's take a look at it before, after. Love it. Super cool. All right, let's get into the raw vato loco real quick. I'm gonna go get some water real quick, guys. I'll be right back. Perfect, it came back right in time, right when the, um, the raw finished. Smart object. I've gotta stay hydrated here. I do a lot of talking. All right. It's looking cool so far. What do you guys think? Let me know if I'm screwing it up. Do I speak Spanish? I speak a little bit of Spanish, not enough to be chatting with you guys here full time here. Um, so sorry, man. I understand it pretty well. So I'm looking at some of these other presets. These are not like special presets, but these are just presets that I've used on other photos that I've created myself. Sometimes I use them as a good starting point, like this Fernanda red one that I used when I did the photo of Fernanda, looks good. I'm gonna go with the Fernanda red and just kind of manipulate this one a little bit. So I'm going to bring up the exposure just a little bit. I'm going to bring the blacks up though. Vibrance, I'm going to bring it down just a little bit. Let's take a look at this luminance here. Bring it up to like two. The reds we're gonna bring up for sure. Awesome, dude, thank you. I've been working on my um, editing process workflow. I'm still working on it. You know, there's times where I'm like, you know what? I don't know if this step is working for me. So. You know, I bounce back and forth. I'm always trying to learn new techniques to get better and stuff. So thank you, man. Appreciate that. Colors are amazing. Thank you, Vicente. I appreciate that, dude. Thanks for the motivation here. You know, nobody was saying anything, so I was like, oh my gosh, I'm embarrassing myself. Everybody's probably laughing. So let's go to saturation, purples. Let's bring that down. Oranges, let's bring the oranges down just a little bit. I don't like to have my skin too saturated. So I'm gonna bring it down just a little bit. Let's go negative two. What about the blues? Let's bring the blues down just a little bit as well. Okay, let me see if I can get a more muddy color. Perfect, let's go right there, it looks nice. Ah, that's why you guys are not talking. You're focusing on what I'm doing. Okay, that's good. That's good. Cool beans. Gotcha. Let me take that off. There we go. So add some grain here. Take that off. Cool beans. Let's take a look at the before and after here. So definitely added a little bit more glow, a little bit of life into the image. So before, 
and then the after in camera raw. So that looks nice. The next thing I'm going to tackle is I'm going to try to tackle the foot because it's closest to the camera. It did appear a little bit bigger. So I'm going to try to make that just a little bit smaller. Hey, thank you, Joseph. Yeah, man, I want to shoot too, man. I uh, haven't been able to shoot lately because, like I said, if you were here at the beginning, we had a hurricane and then this COVID stuff also has been slowing some stuff down. So hopefully we'll get these shoots up and, up and going, man. So let's see what we got here. So I'm liking everything so far. Um, another thing that I'm going to tackle is this part. It is a little bright. And then the foot. So let's get the foot. And then I'm going to get tackle this part here. We're going to darken this up a little bit in a moment. So I'm going to hit OK because I like all those adjustments that I was making there. I know, man. I, I don't know what I need to do, Seth, with this vMix to get my cursor to appear bigger. Um, but it always shows up real small, and it's, it's frustrating. Um, it's not the way I would want it to be. But uh, I'm going to look into trying to figure it out. Um, I have, but I just haven't been able to figure it out. All right, so let's tackle the, the foot. I'm going to use Liquify. See if we can make that foot just a little bit smaller. Let me move this off to the side. We're going to go Filter, Liquify. Let's see if we can make this a little bit smaller here. Let me take off the comments. I'm sorry about that. Let me move this window across so you guys can see it. There we go. And I am going to try the... I don't know how to say it, pucker tool. I think that's what it's called. I'm just going to do a couple of clicks. I just want to make it a little bit smaller. There you go. That's better. I mean, it's not perfect, but it's definitely better. Good. So I'm going to hit OK. We're going to leave it like that. What else? Oh yeah, we were talking about this area here on the shirt. So I'm gonna I'm gonna add a burn. I'm gonna have to select that. I'm gonna go into Lumenzi. I'm pretty sure that's gonna be in the L2s. Um, let me undo that. I made a mistake there. This needs to be on preview. Let's go to L2. Yep, I'm gonna select it. And I'm going to make a selection of that area. We're going to darken that up. Mm -hmm. All right. So now that I have that, I'm going to make sure my flow, let's go about, you know, 8% because we know we want to darken it up. So let's kind of be more aggressive with this. So I made a selection of this bright area in the shirt. Obviously, the off-camera flash was to the right, and then it hit the white top. So, of course, it's going to be pretty bright. So I'm making a selection of it. Now I'm able to come in here, brush it, and kind of darken it up just a little bit. So this is the before and then the after, kind of calming that down so that it doesn't draw too much attention. We still want it to be bright, but we don't want it to be as bright as it was right now. It was getting a little carried away there. All right. So hold Alt before, after liking it so far this is where now i take a breather and i kind of just look at the image so if you guys have questions now is the time to ask me questions but this is where i kind of take like a breather and just kind of look at the image and just kind of ask myself okay what things might i want to add is there anything that maybe i want to take away is there any distractions um so what i'm going to do in a little bit is i'm going to go into my libraries i have some saved from Infinite Color. I'm gonna apply it to this photo, see if it looks good. Um, so far, I like the mood of the photo. It looks pretty good. I might go back and do some more dodge and burn. Um, noticing the face, you know, could be a little bit better with the, you know, dodge and burn. But like I said at the beginning, I, I didn't wanna take like 30, 40 minutes to do it, you know, on a live. So I did a quick dodge and burn. Um, but yeah, the audio is low. It shouldn't be. Maybe it's because I got kind of far away from the microphone, but I brought it back closer to me. Does that sound okay? Let me know. 
So what do you guys think so far? Is there anything that maybe you see in the image that maybe I'm missing? Let me zoom in. Is there anything that you would be like, you know what, Eli, I would push the blues a little bit more or, you know, the red is too much or I don't like this part. Can you fix that? What are you guys thinking so far? Yes, the ankle is distracting. Um, that's why I try to make it a little bit smaller, but I mean, I, I can only make it so small. I was thinking of maybe uh, dodging and burning this part here to kind of decrease the attention of it, but I think regardless, it's still gonna pop a little bit. Um, so if anything, maybe I'll try to darken the foot even more. So maybe I can even add like a gradient. So let me see if I can do that. Let me come in here. Oh no, but I can't. Well, I might have to, you know, it's gonna have to be a selection. I have to select it and darken it here. Or let me just darken it manually. Let me just darken it just a little bit more. I'm not gonna darken it so much. I think I did too much there. I needed to adjust the flow. It was too much. Let me bring the flow down. Let me bring it down to like four. Okay. Travis says he likes the dodge and burn check. Yeah, man, I, lately what I've been doing is I've been doing the dodge and burn check towards the end. Um, so right before I send it off to Instagram, I'll do the dodge and burn just to kind of make sure I didn't miss any spots. Because sometimes when you're color grading, let me lower the mic here. Sometimes when you're color grading, it will add specific areas to be a little bit more kind of not, you know, evened out like as far as the tone. So it's always good to just double check the dodge and burn at the end. Let me take these off. Um, what I want to do is I definitely want to add like a glow over here. So I think I have an action that might work for this. So I'm going to go to... I think it's this one, gloss and then flare. So I am going to add, let's add like an orange kind of color here. Let's go maybe into the yellows. Actually, you know what? See if I can steal a color from right here. Perfect. And I want to add like a nice flare here. I don't know if it showed up. Computer's slowing down a little bit, but I didn't see nothing. Oh, I see it now. It's popping now. Just a little bit of an effect here. And then I'll add another one over here because he had the camera or the flash camera, right? So I'm gonna add one right there. So just a little bit of a pop here. It might be hard to see on your end. Add like a bigger one right there. Boink. Yeah, it's looking good. I like that. Oh, that's a good question. How do I determine the type of look in your image? Well, it all starts off first with the photo. You gotta have a photo that has the correct mood. Uh, I'm trying to go for more of a cinematic look, at least trying. I'm not saying I'm successful on every photo, but that's my that's my goal. As far as like with the pose, the mood, the wardrobe, the locations, and then when it comes to the editing, the same thing. I'm trying to enhance the the colors to kind of fit the vibe that I'm going for. So I'm usually inspired by other photographers on Instagram. There's a bunch of amazing photographers that inspire me. So. So now let's check the libraries. I do have some saved here that I think might work well. I highly recommend to save your stuff in the libraries and you can just click and then drag them in. So it'll add all of the, the layers and stuff. So for this one, for example, let me shift F5. I'm gonna add a mask on this one real quick. So I'm just gonna fill that. I'm going to go select subject, remove that color grade from her. Come on, ice cream. Select subject. There we go. And we're going to fill that with black.
trying to see if I like this color grade. And I do, I do like that color grade a lot. I'm just gonna lower the opacity of this to like 15. I like that. We'll keep that one. This one we're gonna lower down to like 65%. Nah, let's go 75. Or let's go 80. I'm changing my mind here. And then the curves. This one's a little too strong for my taste. Let's go about 50. I like that. I'm digging that. And I want to say that this might be almost done with the image, to be honest, guys. Oh, let's see. Polo asked, uh, what about temperature? Do we only mess with it for color variability purposes? No, not necessarily, man. So if you want your image to feel more warmer or cooler, it's totally up to you, man. You don't have to only use it for the color variability. So it's a great question, man. Where can you send the photos? You can send them here, man. Send them to Infante Critique. All right, so before we do wrap this up, I know for sure that I wanna just do one last dodge and burn check here, okay? So I'm gonna grab these. I'm just gonna group it in one layer so that it's not all distracting so we can clean up this look a little bit. Um, So I'm just gonna manually make it myself. So I'm gonna go to solid color. So we're gonna go 80, 80, 80. This is gonna be my black and white. This is gonna be my my assist layer. Now let's add my dodge now. Oh, let me take that off. Woo. Okay, let's take a look at this some more. I'm gonna dodge a little bit and kind of clean this up, trying to get this to where I want it to be. This will probably be the final step, I think, unless I think of something. I mean, of course, I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna take a break and then I'll probably come back to it after the live because you know usually I'll get ideas after the live. Um, or I'll come back and I'll be like, oh man, the colors are terrible. Like, what was I thinking? So I don't know if that's the situation for this image, but you guys were telling me that it looks good. So I'm confident in you guys giving me the right direction here. So all I'm doing is I'm just dodging the cheek a little bit. There's some areas that are a little bit too dark. So I'm just brightening them up just a little bit because I feel like this area of the cheek is the area that's really um, not bothering me, but I feel that can be improved a little bit. So I'm just coming back in with the dodge. I'm just brightening up areas. I know it's a little bit difficult to see my cursor because it's a little bit small. So if you're just wondering what I'm doing, I'm just coming in here looking for the darker spots and just trying to even those out. And this is dodged towards the end, okay? Um, there's, uh, I usually like to do it in the beginning, of course, and then just double check it at the end, as I was mentioning to another comment earlier. So. There we go. I love this. I don't know what you guys think. You're doing a great job. Awesome, Nelson. Thank you, man. Two comments saying it's looking good. Appreciate it, guys. It's always nerve-wracking to go live and try to edit in front of you guys because it's like 
you don't know where you're going to go. You're just thinking on the fly. You know, when you edit by yourself, you can make the mistakes and stuff. But when you're doing it in front of a bunch of people, it's a little bit nerve wracking. So some of the things that I might do outside of like this live is we talked about the hair on the, the little cheek here. I said I'd maybe do it at the end or I would just do it um, after the live. So I would just use the frequency separation or maybe use the patch tool, the healing brush, whatever one I think is going to work the best. Um, I also would probably spend a little bit of time trying to figure out the foot, trying to figure out how I can maybe make it less um, of a, a distraction, I guess, because a lot of people are saying it's a distraction. Well, what do you guys think? What do you, what do you think about the, the foot and the ankle? Do you guys think it's distracting? And or do you guys have ideas? Do you guys have ideas on on how maybe I can fix it? Maybe you're like, you know what? You're like, how come you just don't maybe burn it? Or maybe you can maybe use the radio filter. So what do you guys think? Because um, sometimes when I'm put on the spot, you know, it's hard for my brain to kind of, you know, think of things. Um, so let me know in the comments. What do you guys think I should do there? Do you guys have any ideas? Let's go back to the thing over here. Um, another thing that I'm noticing too is this hair. I would probably address this right here and these. So I'm going to see if I can do it right now. I'm just going to make a new layer. I'm going to use the, <clears throat> the healing brush. I'm going to make sure it's sampled to all layers. And I'm just going to get rid of it because it just looks kind of random there. Now my computer's slowing down, so I'm probably not gonna be able to get it perfect. So I'm just gonna undo that. That's something that I'll just do after the live because my computer's slowing down. But those are areas that I would do after the live. I would also come in here to the face with frequency separation, grab some of this texture, throw it over here, grab some of this texture and then throw it over here, clean that up. Everything else is looking fine. I'm gonna take a look around, yeah. So I think it's just the foot area and everything else is looking good. So the, one of the last things I'm gonna do before I end this, guys, is I'm just gonna double check my levels. Take a look at the histogram. Is there any other areas that I can brighten up just a little bit more? So I am gonna bring this up just a little bit more. Not too much, but just a little bit right about there. Cool beans. All right, guys, well, I think this live is Pretty much over unless you guys have any last minute questions, last minute ideas. Um, but I think I'm going to end it there. I'm pretty happy with the image. And I uh, think that's pretty much it. I don't see any questions here. Let me check my YouTube. My laptop takes a little bit of time for them to pop up. But that's about it. Cool beans. All right, guys. Well, thank you guys for watching. I'm going to go ahead and end this. And you guys have a good day.